In this video, we're going to look at how to create a symbol in Flash. There are three different types of symbols we're going to look at, and they will all be stored inside of our library. One way to create a symbol is to go to our Insert menu and select New Symbol. We can also click Control F8 on a PC or Command F8 on a Mac. When it comes up, it's going to have a default symbol name. Now, first thing you want to do is make sure you change this to something easy to remember and it's based upon the functionality of what your symbol is going to do. I like to prefix the name of my symbols with the type of symbol it is. It just makes it a little bit easier for me to organize that way. I'll use MC for a movie clip. Most of the symbols that you create will probably be a movie clip because they're very easy to work with and they provide a lot of functionality. When you click OK, you'll notice that you're taken to a new section. This is actually inside of our movie clip symbol that we just created. You'll notice up at the top you have MC square, the name of our symbol, and then the scene. This shows that we're inside. This is a hierarchy and if we were inside of a movie clip inside of a movie clip, we would see these nested as such. I'll simply create a square and I'm going to go back to my scene simply by clicking on it. Now we don't see anything on the stage. That's because it's over in the library and it's not going to appear on the stage until we drag it from the library onto the stage. Another way to create a symbol is to come to the bottom of our library and click on the new symbol button. It looks kind of like a new page button. Once again, we're given a default name and our type. I'm going to make this a graphic symbol. I'm going to call this GR circle. And I'm going to create a circle. Once again, my new symbol is not on the screen because it's in the library, not on the stage. We'd have to create a new layer on our scene and add it to the stage if we want it to appear. The third type of symbol is a button. I'll usually preface it with button. I'm going to define an example. Now buttons are very different from other symbols. Because unlike a normal timeline, you notice you only have four frames. These four special frames define how the button will be used. And we'll show an example of that later in another video. Having an item inside a library makes it very easy to work with and create a duplicate copy. That way we can have multiple items using the same symbol. I'm going to create a new layer, drag our square in, but sometimes I want them to appear different. If I go into my square, I can change my color. However, when I go back to my scene, you notice that both of my symbols have changed. What happens if I want to only change the color of one? I'm going to select one symbol, go to my properties panel, change my color effect, and change the tint. Now I can pick a different color. I can specify how much of that tint I want to appear, and I can make that change. Likewise, I can also change the brightness, make it either darker or brighter, or I can make more advanced changes as well including just the alpha transparency to slightly hide something. If you found this video tutorial helpful, please like and share it with others. If you want to keep up with other videos that are coming out, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and like us on Facebook. That way you can get the most up-to-date information.